What's good, YouTube? It's King Ali, Royalty to Concepts TV. In front of you, you're seeing the Zoom Freak 5. I forgot the name of the colorway. It's some crazy-ass name, but uh, I think it's named after, like, the city that he grew up in or something like that with the street lights or something like that. So, But anyway, Zoom Freak 5 in this black, green, wildberry, magenta, purple, photo blue colorway. This bottom is beautiful. But I got to say, man, this is... A surprise that I like this shoe so much. I'm really, really digging the Zoom Freak 5s. Uh, I haven't been a fan of the past few models like that. I've been a fan of some of the colorways that they did, like with the 4s. They were decent. Um, the 3s, I only got like one pair of those, but those are kind of weak to me as well. But this one, man, they got a solid shoe finally, man. And... Um, Again, I've been looking at reviews and everybody's been talking about this shoe. This is a great hoop shoe. The traction is good. The cushion is good. Um, Kushlon midsole, top loaded zoom unit. Yeah, it is a Kushlon midsole. You go to Nike.com and it take the tech spec. So I've been trying to figure out why they like, you know, what's up with the price hike and why they 130, 140, and that's what it is. So you're pretty much paying for the technology of the shoe. And, um, yeah, he finally got a hit in my opinion, man. He got a better shoe, in my opinion. I think they could be doing a lot better with the colorways. The colorways are kind of bland or whatnot, but I know, you know, it's geared toward the, you know, his Nigerian uh, culture or whatnot. But, uh, yeah, by the way, this toe box, I'm, as I mentioned in another video, this toe box, the reason, I kept trying to figure out why they went with this look. Uh, I actually like it now, but this is supposed to look like an old school football shoe uh, football cleat I want to say if you look at those old school uh, leather football shoes you'll see that they got this type of print on the toe box so that's what they wanted to go with with this shoe they wanted to go with that type of look but these things ain't bad man these things really not bad um, I end up getting these for 40 bucks and I'm on my way back to go get another pair, just found out that they're even more cheaper. Uh, where I got them at, they got them for 25 bucks. This is a Dick Spunger's warehouse in Fort Lauderdale. Um, they're going out of business and they got everything like super marked down and they got everything with an additional 50% off. So, yeah, I was gonna get a pair, man, just to like you know, for whatever, and then get the other pair just to kind of beat up or whatever, man, and just you know, probably go to the gym, man, and whatever. So, but this is a decent shoe. They are going on sale. I would say we in December right now. Uh, if it's anything like the other previous models, these things are going to get marked down super cheap. And um, I'm going to tell you, it's, it's really worth the bang. It's worth your buck. Um, yeah, this colorway, I got the... You can't even see the damn shoe. I got this colorway... The Nigerian Nightmare colorway glows in the dark at the bottom. And I'm going to probably get one more. I mean, I think i seen a black and white one with um, white speckles on the mid. So that one I might get is a large white Nike check with the white leather Nike check. I might get that one. If I don't get that one, I'm going to probably get the, uh, I think it's called Fire the Hard Way, the one with the pink midsole and the green Nike check in the cell up or so. Uh, just overall, man, my thing with the shoes is very, very comfortable. Me being a heavy dude, uh, cush line, midsoles. I love anything with a cush line midsole. And then it has a top loader zoom unit. So these things are super, super bouncy, man. Very responsive, very supportive. It's a sturdy shoe. Um, I think you guys are going to like them, especially if you're a hooper. But if you wanted to wear these casually, I think you could pull them off. You just got to get the right colorway and the right type of outfit to wear with them. But anyway, man, let me get up out of here. I'm leaving Miami. Finally getting up out of here, man. I don't think I'm coming back. Um, probably finna head back to Atlanta, man, and check on my people, man, and get back around the culture. I miss being around the culture, man. And uh, might go to Houston, man, and do the same. Go out there and have a good time, man. But I'm, the thing about going to different cities, man, is you always find different shoes, different cells, different type of colorways. Like, for me, it's, it's always like a, it's like a sneaker hunt. I love going sneaker hunting. I love finding deals. 
um, going to different Nike factories, catching different type of subs. Like that stuff is that stuff is like going to Toys R Us for me. But uh, yeah, man, that's pretty much it. I appreciate y'all for watching. I'll see y'all in a little bit.